Hey guys, it's Coach Carrie. Do any of y'all love chicken parmesan? That is one of our family favorites. So tonight we're gonna be making it, but this time we're gonna be making it with a little less cheese because you know chicken parmesan is full of cheese. So grab your apron and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you wanna do with this recipe is go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. This recipe calls for three pounds of chicken, and I like to use the chicken breast. So I fillet the chicken breast down the middle, and that way it is easier to cook, it's more tender, and if you have a large family like we do, it tends to make dinner time go a little bit further on the table. Once you have done that, we're gonna be adding spices. Now this little gadget here that I'm using, it's a bag holder. All it is is an extra set of hands in my kitchen, and I love to see that you just put it in there. It's um, where you can get a little sandwich size bag in there, or you can do a gallon size bag because it is adjustable. And then we're going to be adding some spices. So right here is the nutritional yeast. Um, if you are someone who loves to measure, measure out one cup. That, that nutritional yeast is actually gonna give this whole recipe that cheesy flavoring without so much dairy. Now you will notice that I am a person who does not measure my spices. If you are someone who loves to measure your spices, then I would use about a half a tablespoon of all these other spices. I'm gonna be using garlic and minced onion, oregano, and basil. We're also going to be using a little bit of black pepper. I would use about one fourth tablespoon on this one. And then we're also going to use some pink Himalayan sea salt. Anytime you use salt on your program, you need to make sure that you are using the pink sea salt because of the health benefits and all the great minerals that it includes. Once you get all your spices in your bag, seal up the bag and shake it up really, really good. Now we're gonna be making an egg wash. So you're gonna take one egg and just crack it into a bowl. I would use a larger bowl because you're gonna be putting the chicken in this also. So go ahead and crack the bowl and the egg in there, whip it up really, really good, and then you can start adding your chicken. So all chicken slices need to be covered in the egg wash, both the front side and the back side. We do the egg wash to make sure that the spices are actually going to attach to the chicken and that's going to give it all the flavoring while it's starting to bake. Once you get your egg wash and all your chicken, just throw it in the bag and this is where the fun begins. So you're going to seal it up and then you're going to shake it up. Really quick, really easy. There's not a lot of mess to this, which is another good reason why I like doing it. A lot of times I'll throw it to Carter, my youngest son, and he'll shake it up for me. He just thinks it's fun to do. All right, now you're gonna take out your baking sheet. Go ahead and cover it with tin foil, and this is gonna save you a mess in the long run also. Cover up your baking sheet, and then you're gonna lay the chicken on the pan. Make sure that the chicken is not touching. So this chicken is gonna be cooked in the oven at 400 degrees for a total of 30 minutes. After it cooks for 30 minutes, you're gonna bring it out 
and you're actually going to put a marinara sauce on top of it. Now I like to use the Simply Nature marinara sauce just because it is low in sugar and all the ingredients are improved in it, but you can find some other marinara sauces that you can use also on this. Go ahead and pour just a little bit on each chicken and then you can take your spoon and just kind of cover it up just a little bit more. It's going to help to keep your chicken moist. Um, it puts that marinara sauce on there and gives you that Italian flavoring. Makes it really, really good. Next thing that we're going to do is add just a little bit of cheese. And guys, this is chicken parmesan. It is normally covered in cheese. But notice out of this whole recipe, this is the only amount of cheese that I am actually using. So sprinkle just a little bit on each chicken breast. And then we're going to be putting it back in the oven for a total to, of 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how large your chicken actually is. And when it comes out, it's beautiful, and believe me, this has become one of our family favorite recipes. Make good decisions, guys.